Good evening, everybody. We're breaking into programming because there's been a tornado warning issued for the northern half of Dallas County. Again, a tornado warning is issued for Dallas County until 930. So we want to jump right in here and show you what we're concerned about. Well, you see this hook right here. So Farmers Branch, North Dallas, I need you to be in your safe place right now, especially if you live in the northern half of Dallas. So as we were in the bathroom, we could hear the shattering of the glass where the windows were blown out of this building. And this is the first time I'm seeing it, but the police department says that there's been several people who have come up to me and said damage is just everywhere. But it, it was scary. Oh my gosh. Greens and the oranges very close together. That is rotation. This is near Walnut Hill. This is moving toward the Royal Lane area. So a lot of you know where this is. This is on the north side of Dallas. This is the Dallas North Tollway. There's Inwood right there. This is kind of in the Park Cities area, and this is moving off to the northeast. I really need you to get into your safe place. I'm very concerned with this rotation. Oh my God, you can see it forming right there. Oh my God, I'm scared, Ma. Walnut Hill area, Preston Hollow. This area has to seek shelter immediately. Please, please do so. There's the center of rotation. That's where we have confirmed debris. That's where we have a confirmed tornado that is moving off to the east. This is the intersection of Walnut Hill and Linnell. We've got plenty of uh, uh, fire and police activity blocking the road because of the number of trees that are down and more firefighters are on the way. You can see emergency responders continue to come through. There are several, but once this fire truck passes, we'll show you a wall that has complete a roof that's collapsed here and debris has scattered across the roadway. At the base of the tornado, you kind of see that little cloud of dust going up. That's debris being picked up by the tornado. So that is, that is a tornado doing damage. That's not just a funnel cloud. That's that's absolutely a tornado, Marie. It came so fast, you can't believe it. The house started moving a little yeah. bit, you know, just the wind was stronger than what I might have otherwise thought. And so uh, we came down and... Where were you guys in the house? Right in the Basically up in that peak right there, up in there, there's a, well behind it, there's a little um, media room, basically. So we, we hunkered down and it came through and it blew the doors off the back of our house. We have all kinds of broken windows. Um, I have tons of debris inside the house. Um, all the trees, all these big trees are down. The roof is gone, so that's water coming off the top of that, uh, that school. In the intersection here are trees, which have closed it all down. There's a search and rescue operation uh, that we just walked past. Um, they have like a they have a grid basically of all the houses in the neighborhood that they're going through to make sure that everybody is out of them. Next door neighbor's entire house looks like it's been completely decimated. The wind got so bad it was just shaking my truck. Uh, I was trying to get over here a little bit so I could get out of the way a little bit, try to get close to these buildings, and they just literally picked me up and just flipped me two times. If it wasn't for the tree, the trees would stop me. Man, I'm just grateful that I didn't get in hurt any more than I did. Man, I got a couple of scratches and stuff, but other than that, man, I'm just fine. Wow, wow. It's crazy. They are staging going through multiple neighborhoods, trying to find out where the most help is needed. And there will be a great deal of help needed as the day goes on and as we get our first uh, look at daylight. No reports, according to the city of Dallas, as of right now, of any fatalities or serious injuries. The damage is extensive. There are homes gone, businesses and schools closed all over Dallas County today. I want you to check out this new video showing the extent of the damage that we are talking about. We consider ourselves very fortunate that we did not lose any lives, no fatalities, and no serious injuries in last night's storm. And our city staff and our first responders are doing an amazing job of making sure um, that people are safe, which is our top priority. Oh, it's a little shocking. <laughs> um, you just got to get up and go. This too shall pass. You lost your home, but you got your life, Randy. Yeah, this isn't the worst day I've ever had, so. Uh, I've almost lost that before, so 
this can be replaced. I think those are words a lot of people need to hear right now. You can see the door right here. This would be the entrance into the entire office right here. You know, this is our life. This is what we've done. Um, I just kind of needed to say goodbye. I've played over and over in my mind that when I don't have my dad anymore, that I was going to be able to come up here and sit in the fire station and just feel close to him again. The first thing the doctors were like, were you in the tornado or were you in your truck when the tornado hit? And I told them, no, I was outside standing in the tornado. And they were like, no way. I said, yeah, wait. By the time I said tornado, the thing sucked me out of the building, out of the door and into the breezeway right there. But the people inside the store came out, man, it's a miracle you're alive. If you don't believe in miracles, look at me, I'm one. I mean, because without his intervention, I would not be here today. This is an emotional time. I mean, there is loss associated with this event. And as much as we're trying to stay positive and looking at how amazing this is as an opportunity, it, you can't deny the fact that it's not just loss for TJ, it's loss for the community of TJ. And it's been incredible just to see how everyone has come together, not just to support TJ, but to support each other. I accept it. It's just, I'm shocked to see this. It's just awful. All the memories and stuff. Isn't that something? Nobody's hurt. That's the most important thing. This is why I'm so proud of Dallas ISD, because our people step up not only on a crisis, but they do this every day. And you got to see their world, and you got to see their world rocked. The Dallas Cowboys and the National Football Foundation want to give one million dollars to give that field back. I want those young people to see us kicking in uh, when the times get rough. How fragile our life can be. Right now you are standing on holy ground. And this that we see is uh, the remnants of a, of a building, but not the remnants of our, of our faith or our hope. I haven't had a chance to cry. We're gonna build again. It is just human and normal and nothing wrong with mooring. This is holy ground.